there is a beautiful hadith. And in this hadith, there are so many benefits we can obtain, but we don't have enough time. Okay, try your best, Sheikh. I'll, I'll do that. Don't rush me. I'm too old. I can't do it so fast. Imran ibn Hussain, and the hadith is in Sahih al-Bukhari. He says that the people of Yemen came to the Prophet والسلام, accepting Islam. And the Prophet praised them, complimented them, and said to them that I give you the glad tidings of Allah's forgiveness. So they said, okay, Prophet of Allah, we accept it. But we have a question. How did this thing begin? Look at this question. The Arabs speak few words, but to the point. How did this thing begin? Life, universe, earth, heavens, so many things around us beyond our understanding. How did it all begin? Now the Prophet والسلام, is the one authorized to answer. So he did not tell them, you should not ask such questions. Fear Allah. Because he's the one who gives answers. So he says to them, there was nothing but Allah. And his throne was over the water. And he wrote everything in the book and created the heavens and the earth. Full stop. Now this hadith tells you about the origin of everything. All humans, animals, insects, birds, living creatures, everything in this universe acknowledge that there is only one Allah, la ilaha illahu, one God. They call him God, though God is not Allah's name. We do not usually, as Muslims, use God. But we say it because maybe non-Muslims would listen and they say, what is Allah? So everything acknowledges the existence of Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is the challenge that Allah gives to atheists. When you see an atheist, he would say, there's no God. Okay, fair enough. Let's look at you. Allah says in the Quran, or were they created by nothing? Or were they the creation of themselves? You are one of two. Either vacuum created you. You were nothing and boom, you exist. Or you created yourself. Which one is it? Any atheist would say, hmm, vacuum cannot create. So, no, vacuum cannot create. And I did not create myself. So I'm in a dilemma now. What is the answer? It is Allah Azza wa Jal who created us. This hadith tells you there was nothing but Allah. In another, another authentic narration, there was nothing before Allah. In another narration, there was nothing with Allah. So the only thing that is independent, the only thing that can exist by itself is Allah the Almighty.